Okay. Yeah, how's it? Jun here. In this video, I'll be showcasing my latest game project. Okay, you dragged me along here. Yep. We are fighting and screaming. Um, yeah, that looks interesting. Um, what is it called? What is it for? What does it do? Why so and the, the how? Yes, so the game is called Tanks Quest, which is quite funny because there's no tanks in it currently. <laughs> that we is, chose uh, the name before making the game. Uh, but it's always good. Vision. Yep. Long, the long game. The yes. long game. Yep, so one day there'll be a tank in here. Okay, cool. But anyway, so the idea for the game is it's a multiplayer World War II battle simulator. Okay, and what's that? Uh, don't start it yet. Uh, but that's that actual um, was inspired by Stormworks, right? Uh, yes. So, the, so this is inspired by the Stormworks uh, uh, Build and Rescue or Search and Rescue. I always forget the name. But I'll show a picture of that. It's a very cool game. I love it. And I have way too many hours playing with it. It's one of my favorite games. But so I thought I'd kind of make a fan game version of it, but more military based. Okay, cool. And and. Maybe before you show us the game, is how did you actually do that landscape? Because it's pretty cool. Maybe you can just demo how you created that quick landscape. Because I yeah. think it's pretty awesome looking. Yeah. Uh, was it simple? Or what it is, was what? quite simple, yeah. And as you see, it's very low poly. So I'll showcase how I made it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So all I did is opened Blender. Okay, now Blender's open. Okay, great. So you're going to show us So how... we have our cool map. Oh, okay, so good grief. So, I mean, this is basically based on Stormworks, right? Yes. You just decided to do a quick and dirty Stormworks look. How yeah. do you do something like this quick? What? How would you do it? So it's actually quite simple, and I can actually show you right now. No, really? I know. <laughs> so if we just make a plane, <clears throat> let's make it big. I used real scales for the my plane, but in... Not an aeroplane. map, but yes. <clears throat> Not an aeroplane. What you do is subdivide it for however many subdivisions you may need for the detail of the plane. Then select, select random. Let's actually choose uh, faces, select random. And idea, let's just move our person a bit. Our, there we go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. And let's change the ratio down a bit so they're not so you're not quite as many hills. Then okay. let's move it up. We can select uh, random again. Lots of trucks going by. Uh, may select random again. Move it down a bit. Just make it noisy, basically. Like the trucks. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. They just make it... Out of interest, once you, you get this topography, the geography right on this, if you do, yeah. Um, how do you get the different colors? Now, <clears> the <throat> colors are a bit more uh, complicated, really. But I guess they... I guess what you do is... You guess or you know? Come on, this is factual here. Stop wasting our time. So, you would select the top parts... Okay, that's difficult. Yes. Oh, I see. Then you ah. and then you got the top part. You go pl command plus. We move our little character. Oh, what do you even call us? I don't know what this is called. My goodness. Uh, anyway, we make a. It's taking a sweet time. Yeah. Well, explain to us what else you did there with the, so, the randomness of it and. The... So I just made a bunch of random noise now to the terrain. So if we make a sand tick uh, color, let's just uh, make this sandy, let's say that color. Then okay. I make a, I guess a kind of rock, let's call it, or hill. Material? Or, or what? Let's call what it a this? hill material, which okay. is a more darker, it's a more browny color. Okay. And we can assign. Then we go uh, get the very top layer again, make it sand. Nice. Well, that's kind of what you did. Obviously, right? I put a bit more effort into yes, it yes, than the five seconds. And I think I that's, made a, that's, a, that's an example of what... Slightly higher. It's sort of what I did. I think okay. I did a, f a bit more steps, but 
the sort of the kind of terrain you would get. Okay, now how did you import it? How did you uh, how did you take it from Blender into Unity? Well, that was just a default file export and export as FBX. Okay, great. And uh, and it's simple to yeah, export it, all it into works. Blender. It all works, yes. Okay, cool. I mean, into uh, Unity. Yes. Okay, so that's it. You've actually got a nice terrain. It doesn't look that great, but it's still okay. No, it's kind obviously of you'd want white... to fit a bit more work <clears> in than the vice you can But that's a dirty, video, quick kind of... Just a nice, quick way to make cool-looking noise. And obviously, for certain areas, you might want to make it more custom. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, well, if we open the original tank scene... Yeah, it's pretty much very yeah, similar. Yeah, it's quite similar. Okay, cool. Well, let's go to the game then. Sure, we have uh, our little scene. So you can basically build your whole scene. Yes, you your... build all the... And uh, what I want for this game is to have lots of points of interest. Like Stormworks doesn't have that many, but it has a few that like, I it's kind of didn't stark, even yeah. know of. It's quite stark, yes, and that's what's nice about it. Mm. But it has interesting little things in it, like a uranium mine somewhere around here in Stormworks. Or... And a few other mines. What do you mines. mean, Summer? This is not Stormworks. You mean yes, in Stormworks? Uh, not Stormworks, but in here I want something like that. Random mine shafts and just interest, point of interest. Okay, great. Okay. So what's the point of this game? So the point of the game... Yep. Explain uh, to us. So it's more sandboxy. It's more of a sandbox game, but not quite a sandbox. It's a survival simulator. Uh, the idea is World War II. You'd run around, shoot other players, have some sort of co-op... You would be able to hop in someone in another person's jeep and drive around. So it's also um, maybe you can show people how you developed it as quick as possible. It's a dirty game, just quick and nasty. Yeah, it's quite get quick. Get it in, get it out. That's well, it. I'm happy with some of the modularity I've added. Okay, cool. So let's go to the game and see how it works. Yep. Uh, so. It's not really a game yet. So maybe you've got the first screen there. Yep. Um, Tanks and, Quest, the game with no tanks, but yeah. Yeah, um, you've got some basic, disgusting UI. Yep. Um, okay, so you start the game. Okay, if we make sure the audio is on. Let's make yep. it slightly softer, not to bring I like it loud, yep. man. Come on, let's make it loud. Oh, cool. So where do we get the music from? Um, I do not know. I'll show up the... I have some text files showing all the... Where I got all the music from, I'll show that up here now. It's okay, but did we get it from Google or did we get it from I don't know what sites I YouTube. have. I'll show it okay. here in the link in okay, the description cool. to all the content creators or creators who made this music. But yeah, we have a little UI, there's a quit button. So we try to do it, you try to do it as fast as possible. I tried to do it so I see, but it didn't look that good. Okay, cool. Go for it. Go. Okay, so you got a car. No, no, we're not yep. doing that now. So Well, I have to. to stop oh, do you have game. to? What? Yes. Uh, because I haven't hooked up single player. Ah, okay. Well, stop him over there. Explain to us that reasoning around that single player. So, I actually try to hook up multiplayer. It's still a very much a work in progress. Okay. But the player joins, and well, I'm not going to show you that in this video because it's too okay. broken, but yeah. Can you explain to us the. the um, the truck, we have the, the vehicle? Most amazing the vehicle? Cycle. Yep. Explain the vehicle. So Where does this, this come is from? This is a 1945 Willys MB, which is a really cool car. I love it. I think it looks quite good in the game. Well, let's get closer up. And oh, that's where did you get it from? Where did you steal it from? Yup. Uh, so I actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fan game, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this where This is you a get fan it? game. Do not sue. <laughs> okay, great. Well, tell us where you So got this from. is actually from a Stormix vehicle, and I'll show you the person who actually originally made this uh, vehicle. Uh, but uh, all I did is I had to export it as an OBJ file uh, from Stormworks, which sadly only works on Windows. I took up my Windows box connected with the driver was a bit of pain, but yeah. I got it working eventually. There are a few weird things with the vehicle like you see this they you can see through the vehicle uh, right there so it's um, clipping through so you can see uh, yeah you can see right through the vehicle in some parts but they I think will it be looks fixed eventually. Awesome. it, it looks... does look cool at first glance it does look really cool unless you really dig in detail okay and then you can go back and show us the the landscape can and you, the can landscape you, can looks you... very cool i think we have nice fog we have the stormworks skybox colors they're okay. quite cool yeah, so far everything's looking quite cool. 
The walk cycle, the most amazing looking running cycle you've ever seen in your life. I mean, look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's, uh, and obviously you try to do um, some cool things with the car, some basic stuff. Yeah, I had a lot of fun hooking up the if car. If you move our, our uh, faces over there. Yep. Uh, quickly. Then you will see yeah. that we have, a, we have a little speedometer, right? Yes, we have a little speedometer. That's, well, only, obviously, I should probably hide it when we're not in the car, but... Yeah, okay, yeah, well, let's do it. Why don't we start and go for a drive? Yep. Let's hop in. We can't actually drive yet. We must press return, start it. And we can drive around. Okay. Oh, that's cool. There we go, make it louder. Oh, oh you got some nice, um, some nice stuff going on behind there. What's that? What's the dust? So we have little particle dust system? particle effects that only appear when the wheels are actually on the ground. That was a pain to hook up because of weird local rotations and... Oh, that took a while to get working properly. But this, like the slower you're going, so if we actually go quite fast, you'll see the dust is quite big. But if we go slow, the dust actually gets smaller. You see, it's quite small now. You mean the particles? The particle. Well, the dust effect actually gets smaller. Yeah. So it's tiny now. And if we stop quick and we reverse, it will actually show on the other side of the vehicle. Whoa. And we have crashing sound effects. As you see, I'm gonna master. Okay, let's here. let's get this up to what's a high what's a top speed? Uh, uh, I've artificially limited it to 75, I think. Uh, okay, cool. But the real vehicle can do 105. I just the speedometer textures too. Woo! It does, only goes up to awesome. 80. Awesome. Let's so. let's max this out. Let's go. Woo. Okay, so explain to us what the car's got. It's got. Um, how did you get the physics? So the so physics good. is just using the default Unity wheel colliders. A lot of people are saying how buggy and weird they are, but once you get them working properly and correct in the quick values, they work amazingly well. I mean, look at that beautiful suspension if we can. Yeah, I'd just Ooh. rather go back so we can actually see. Which are the suspension Prefer the back well. so we can see the... Well, I don't think we can go further back. Okay, that's cool. Let's watch it on the side there. Oh, this is awesome. Charles, this is actually using the Unity 6 Preview, which is, yeah, interesting. Go left quickly. Left so, yeah, more, left uh, more. Let's, let's go. Ah! Oh, there we ah! go. Now, obviously, he needs to fall out the car at some Yes, point. that would be cool. Because, uh, so you only started this about a week ago. So, mm. it's quite cool. I mean, you had some issues with lots of interesting stuff, but other than that, it looks quite pretty cool. I love that. It looks so realistic. Definitely interesting. Yep, terribly So you're going to do the tank in the same kind of low poly? Yes, I will try. I'm going to go for World War II, which will be quite cool. And I'll have a what lot kind of World tank? War II, uh, I don't know, uh, Panzer or... I'm not sure. Uh, yep, okay. Yeah, I must figure that out, but... The tank's a bit later. I think it would be quite cool oh, though. Oh, look at that. It looks awesome. Whoa. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, cool. Ooh. So you're going to show some of the code? Now he's actually stuck, right? Oh, dear. And if we get out... You can't get out. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, I thought he'd fall through the ground. It's almost he'd fall through the ground. See, it's an upgrade to Stormworks. <laughs> Can he actually get up there? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, sort of. That's actually very steep, yeah? He's, he's struggling. He's doing some weird clipping stuff, but he's managing it. Yeah, he's got, he's got it. Can he slide down? Whoa! Can he actually oh slide down? Oh my goodness, down? that's steep. Okay, cool. Okay, why don't you share some of the code? So you looked at the speedometer. Yep. And we can go through the world. We actually have an infinite plane under the world. Uh, and that's just so if you accidentally clip through for a second, it might look a bit less And that's noticeable. just the camera, right? Because, yeah. But that just makes it, and I, I'll hook up a better camera collider as well for this in mm. future. Okay, cool. So you're going to show us the, um, yep. just, uh, let's just sequentially go. what's happening with the, with the coding, how you did it. Yes. And, okay, so let's, so let's get going. So if we go scripts. So I guess the first thing we should show, and I guess some of this, like the Willy's MD is actually outdated code. I must delete that. 
in what sense? I actually made the upgraded the code so it's really modular and nice now. So uh, stuff like this for like the Willy's MB code is actually outdated now. I must delete that. Keep on meaning to delete that. But if we go over to uh, so the first thing, let's just go over to the third person movement script. And first of all, using quite a nice idea. Oh yes, JetBrains Rider. Prob uh, JetBrains uh, products are cr amazing. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Okay, great. Which are, it's quite simple, third person movement controller. It's pretty much the classic. Uh, we hooked up some animations here. Nothing really special about it. Uh, Maybe you can explain some of that to us. It's pre default. Like here, we just, uh, all we're doing is getting current speed. We're checking if we're sprinting. Otherwise, if we're sprinting, we do the sprinting speed. Otherwise, we do just normal speed. And I'm setting it twice. Wonderful. Uh, let's delete that. It's always good to go back and actually see. Yeah, I haven't. I mean, obviously, you, you went as fast as you could because, I mean, it's a, sp it's a race, right? You wanted to see yes. how fast you could and do. And I'm this. just not very good at coding third person movement controllers, really. I hate them. They're so finicky and weird. But at least for me. I don't know why that didn't cause problems, by the way. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's not ask questions. <laughs> Yeah, I know you've had a tough time. You've been learning other languages and doing other yep, stuff. Yep, lots and... of languages, lots of interesting yeah. stuff. So here we have a vector three for direction. And that is a vector three uh, of horizontal axis, which is the input, raw input, vertical, and, and the Y, which is going upwards, is zero, obviously. We don't want to be able to fly upwards. And I'm normalizing this so that if we hold horizontal and vertical keys at the same time, we don't go faster. Can you put this on Git at some point? Yes, I will put it on Git. Uh, so open source. Uh, and then I'm using a tan2 for the target angle because you may notice the player controller, if we're walking backwards, it actually rotates our character backwards. I see you using a Euler there. Explain to us what's that, what's that, yeah, the so Quaternion Eula thing. Yeah, Javi. Quaternions. I don't really understand why you use Quaternions. I think it's some gimbal lock thing. I don't really understand that that well. It's kind of complicated. But Eulas are like, it's like an Eula is kind of a vector three for rotation. So you can convert three uh, values, X, Y, and Z <laughs> rotations. And then you can convert it to a Quaternion. But I'm not sure why you don't just use Eulas. I must learn about that more. Okay. Uh, but then I'm just uh, moving it in the direction, which is I'm just using quaternion.eula, which inputs an Euler angle. And I'm timesing it by vector3.forward so that we always point towards forward. Uh, so let's just see here. We're going target angle, so we're pointing towards target angle. And we can go in, the, uh, oh yes, so we can go in the kind of local forward. Then we're checking if we ground it, and this is actually quite heavily based on Bracky's code from like five years ago or something. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a charm. Yay. Yeah, great. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's, it's kind of complicated. I don't know, I'm not too good at third person movement controllers. And here we actually setting floats for speed, uh, so we can go fast and slower. Depending, on, I actually made. I love this code. Is actually kind of from my videos. Actually, I've made a video on third-person movement that I kind of followed again just to get this code pro working properly. Yeah, that's a great, great resource. Yeah, always good. Uh, here I'm, I'm setting our sitting animation to false in this case or true when we're sitting. So the more interesting code is the mounter. So the mounter allows any object is an object that can mount another object, in this case, our vehicle. That sounds kind of sexy. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, it just has a mounter bow and the mounter bow is attached to our vehicle. And we have a mounting point, which is our seat position, a dismounting point, which is where we get out the vehicle. And we just like when we mount, we uh, set the mounter bow, uh, the mounter, uh, dot mounter bow is this, because there's a mounter bow. We're setting the parent to mounting point. This sounds like a tongue twister, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. The whole a thing really sounds really strange. A weird, strange <laughs> tongue twister. 
So the code that, I do not want to talk about, parenting and mountables. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and if okay. we won't go there in different positions. Too. Oh, good gracious. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, setting the local <coughs> position to zero 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 uh, because if we just set the parent, uh, then the object would stay in the exact same place. So we have to reset its position so it actually sits on the seat. Then I set the local rotation to zero zero zero, which is a Euler angle, just so it doesn't rotate in way that angle you're you're rotated before you sat in the seat. Okay. And then I set is mounted to tree. And then dismounting is just undoing all this and disabling the parents and setting it the, uh, the position to dismounting points. So then if we hook up, and I'm actually quite happy with the vehicle controller. Uh, so the original code, which is Willy's MB, was pretty much a kind of copy paste of my tractor video where I made a tractor uh, that can drive around using Unity Wheel Collide. I'm very happy with that video, but Obviously, I died sound, but this is the outdated code. Yeah. And as you see, I was fiddling with damage sectors, so like maybe certain areas could inflict uh, more damage and add damage areas. But that's something areas. you need to. You need to That's something do. I need to do eventually. And also, the you know when the guy does a three sixty, he flies around <laughs> this. And he, yes. He also I needs to get damaged. Yes. Yes. You know? Yeah, a health bar. Yeah. So next time, the next video, hopefully, we'll have uh, we'll have some shooting, and maybe. maybe a tank. Maybe a tank. I don't know. No, that's uh, a bit tricky. Is... This game will never see a tank. <laughs> <laughs> tanks, Chris. No tanks. Ever. Yeah. But yeah, this is pretty much copy-paste of the tractor video uh, code. However, I've decided... Reusability, so I wanted important. to be able to add um, World War II military simulator, not just vehicles. Eventually, maybe warplanes or some sort of jets or or just jets different kinds of vehicles. World War II. Come okay, on. Okay, warplanes, so. Uh, so maybe you could have even boats one day. Yeah. Uh, so like aircraft carriers or something. Aircraft I carriers. I don't know if they're in, in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, I could on. add that if I wanted to. Well, maybe they did. I think you you might be right. There maybe. probably was. Okay. Uh, so we have a, a base class called vehicle controller. Yes, vehicle controller. Which has a few different parameters that every kind of vehicle, no matter what, should have. And I might update this in feature, but we just have a bunch of Unity events, which is helpful. Uh, so I don't have any audio codes, which I'm very happy of, in the vehicle uh, uh, classes. So you, you, we you're just call out talking Unity about events. separation here, nice clean yes. separation. Explain to that, us about that. That's yeah, cool. so we just call Unity events, which I can use the nice Unity UI with. So I haven't actually written any code that that tells that connects audio to the vehicle. So no code to do that. It's all Unity UI. Which I don't know if it's entirely a good thing or not, but I like it. Uh, then we update. So this is just uh, starting the engine, and I set it so I can tell how long the engine must start for. So like it plays the engine starting sound on a loop. And uh, for in exactly one second, I believe, for the Willys MB in this case. And I just set that as a timer. And then we have a handle input function. Uh, this is pretty base class stuff. It doesn't do terribly much. Cool. But if we go to the vehicle, uh, where is it? Uh, car controller. There it is. As you see, my debugs. <laughs> uh, but... As you see here, it's it's referencing all the wheels for the Willys MB, or just any car really. I might make this more dynamic in future, but I have no need to currently. We have a turn angle, and this is also very similar to my uh, tractor video. So it's quite similar because I got all the parameters working perfectly. But we reference the rigid body, the mountable. And does this does this actually work on your? I can't um, actually see it. Does yeah. this actually work? Uh, ah, uh, ah, ah, uh, ah, yeah. Um, sort of, not really. The one I, like, I like I chewing. <laughs> yes, yes. I can't configure it very well though, because I'm using the old input system, so I need to upgrade to the new one. Uh, oh, it's switch. a lot of work still ahead. Yeah, it's kind of painful using the new input but system. I have to say, it's quite UI. fun playing it just as it is. It's pretty yeah, insane. Yeah, it's quite eh? fun. It is. Yeah, pretty driving cool. around, doing 
crazy stuff, doing 360s. Yeah, and the physics is actually quite nice. Yeah, it is enjoyable to drive. Yeah, around. yeah, cool. Just publish it like this. And... No, no, don't be crazy. Come on, let's move on. Which are here, uh, this is actually quite cool. So to make sure the vehicle doesn't just carry on increasing speed forever, I've set it so that we have a max speed. So I'll have to up, uh, update the max speed for the Willys MB to 105, but my speedometer is too small to do that. So I just sent it to 75 kilometers an hour. You mean and it doesn't have enough... Uh, I don't have yeah. enough numbers on the speedometer. <laughs> Uh, that's easy no other to reason. Sort yes, anyway, it's just updating okay. the UI. It's just everything takes time. You know, everything. Yeah, I'll wind a video out eventually, so. Yeah. But anyway, cool. if the current speed gets greater than the max speed, uh, what happens is, first of all, we don't set the motor torque anymore, which is the wheel spin, how much the wheels spin, and we <clears> apply <throat> brake force to the wheels. So they actually start braking if we go above the maximum speed applied for the vehicle. Cool. Just to make sure, I mean, it's a bit of a hack, but yeah, you can't really fix that in Unity wheel colliders. So they don't really have a real engine. Not yet. And therefore no <laughs> max speed. Uh, but here we're just updating the wheels. So the wheel uh, is where I did that tongue twisting tractor video. Lots of wheels and wheels and stuff. Mm. But uh, the wheel is, I made it a mono behavior. So it's actually attached to the wheels. Just because it makes life a bit easier instead of having them as a system dot serializable, which I had to set. Uh, no real reason for that. Just makes life a slightly easier to attach it to ve uh, wheels, and I know it's on there. But here we update wheel instead of just like usually this would be all the code, like just this. But I had to add a lot more code for all the dust particles. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that yeah. was a pain. <clears throat> Uh, so the here I'm making system. sure that we're hitting the wheels like touching the ground, which in which I can apply some slipping we uh, sound effects. Uh, but the problem is I kind of plays twenty four seven for some reason, so I must fix that. But do you have any ideas doing that? How would you go about doing that? I have no idea. I must look up some. I'll figure it out eventually. But dust particles, uh, so if they're not null, so we actually, like the front wheels don't actually have dust particles applied. But maybe I can add them, I don't know, they don't look very good with front wheel dust particles. But we can just get the first child, uh, <coughs> which is has the actual mesh of the dust particle, the particle system. Just some kind of hacky stuff it feels like here. We're setting... Uh, Eulers to get the rotation of them. This was a huge pain to set up as well. I got this really arbitrary weird value for this rotation. Uh, which is just because we've rotating it. But here we handle the dust particle. So we get the dust particle system. Uh, so we actually get it. Uh, we have an emission. So we, this actual, uh, uh, we can tell it to turn on and off. Uh, so we actually, so if we in the and in the air, it shouldn't start carry on with dust particles. Mm. So I just turn that on or off here. And then I set its position uh, to the position set here. And this position, I don't know, I haven't used this code very much. That's the mesh position. Oh, yes, that's because the wheel can go up and down. Yes, the shocks. Also, pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I love the shocks. yeah, that is very cool, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I just want to so cool. I just want to say something. It's like so critical to be able to design three dimensional objects in Blender and stuff like that. Because otherwise, great. you'd be pretty screwed, blued, and tattooed. Oh, if yeah. you didn't, I mean, you wouldn't be able to game. And so it's really a yeah, good idea to start with the tool. Blender. Yeah, Blender's awesome, man. Eh? Yeah, in the it's... beginning to be really good at Blender and then game engine design and programming. But you after never that. lose Blender. I mean, Blender's just always useful unless yeah. you're doing two D. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> but I think, I don't know where I'd do it, but if we, uh, let's see. I haven't... I know that game was like 150 exported, uh, built. 150 meg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't terribly big, but doesn't have terribly much in it. Yeah, yeah but you could still probably oh. do a lot within that and keeping that slow yeah. size. Yeah, I'd try. Yes, on collision. So here we're hooking up the collision sound effects, which I'm very happy with. And actually, the harder you hit something, the louder it will be. So it means if you hit it softly, maybe you can demo that quick to see if those actually work. 
Oh, I don't know. I uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Let's uh, have a look. If we just go over. Because that's very cool there. Eh? That is very cool, yes. So if we open our game, make a a cube, let's say. Zero, zero, zero. Well, let's just copy the willies. MB. Copy position. The heat is on. Yeah, heat is on, man. Come on, you can do this. Oh, no, <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, in 2D. Okay, cool. Nice. Right. And then we're gonna hit that that cube slack. Oh, it's not a cube. Oh, it's a it's a it's uh it's one a, of those testing wars. They yes, cool. like tests. How yeah, test a test car it's a car dummy. Yes. Okay, cool. Nice. So if we start. Okay, hold on. We're holding on, man. Sorry, we host server and clients. Okay. And oh, maybe you can just hit him. In. Go backwards slightly. So you hear a very faint. Let's put it louder. Okay, yeah. So you can hear faint sounds. Do it again. Slow. Stop, 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 stop. No. Okay, let's go. Now we hit it slightly harder. Oh, it's, what happened there? Oops. It's kind of hard to hear because it's the background music. Maybe I'll turn the background music off temporarily. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Okay, cool. Right, let's go. Full speed That's ahead. like a far away. Why are you going so far away? Okay. You see, it's really loud now. Okay, now go back a little bit. Okay, it's not too bad. And I love the squeaking sound. The yes, the wheel slip sound. It's quite cool. Wheel slipping is awesome. Yeah, it does work quite well. Yeah, it's very good. That's really awesome. So you got that. That's like makes everything like and realistic. More, yes. Know? It adds so much to audio, actually. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, I just wanted to. Yeah, that's I think pretty that's cool. pretty cool idea. And the wheel slipping, if you do, don't do a lot of wheel slip, it actually won't make a loud sound. Mm, yeah. Which I think is quite cool as well. How did you get that idea? What did, how did you come up with that? Did you steal it? A bit of both. <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, Which what I'm else? I'm just checking if we're stopping really uh, suddenly and if it's greater than the collision threshold. So if we're stopping suddenly enough, then... Uh, then we'll just play that sound effect. So theoretically, I think if we just set our velocity to zero, it'd make that sound. Mm. Oh, well, that's an interesting... Uh, that's quite interesting. What else you got? Is that it? Um, I don't know if there's anything else terribly interesting. Oh, yes, the audio. So I made an interface, uh, which is my first time ever using interfaces, actually, in C-sharp. I've, I've done a lot of protocols in Swift, but... I've never done interfaces before. But yeah, we have I vehicle audio, uh, which is just something for all the vehicles can, or car audio in this case, can hear it from. So we have uh, uh, just default things like engine sound, engine shut off sound, uh, starter, engine sound, which is just the normal driving sound, skidding, collision, and just updating audio parameters. Yeah, that's really cool. It's neat. Yes. And you access so it from... So it would be nice to have separated uh, in our car audio. So you might have this for uh, planes, let's say. They can swap out the sounds very easily. Mm. But yeah, uh, uh, it's still a bit of a work in progress. And of like, course I haven't it is. Got, I just started. I think I haven't got skinning sound for some reason. That's a bit weird. Okay, interesting. No skidding sound. Even though there is a skidding sound. Oh, obviously I haven't implemented it in here. I must, okay. Because I'm implementing it in the wheel, which must change, must add it here. Okay. Oh, well, that's uh, something for another day. And, uh, then the, and then the sound, the actual general sound of it is also really cool. Just the, 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 the sound. Just it actually droning. makes you feel, you know, the, the continuous sound on, yes, on the... the no, not the not the engine sound, but then the, the, the actual, the tune. The background the music, music. The background music is pretty cool. Oh, yes. I quite so like cool. that. Yeah, I, I really like that a lot. So if we go over to background music, yes. It's called Intergalactic Space 23014. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Anyway. Which are, we, I just set it up to play, in a, play on a wake and loop. 
And yeah. so it just plays forever. Yeah, that's cool. Which will never get irritating. Yeah. After two yeah. hours of... <laughs> I don't know, it's quite calming. But anyway, I'm yeah, sure you'll have nice. a, a little tick box. You can switch that off. Never. <laughs> we'll cool. add a settings menu in 10 years' time. And what but else? What else can you tell us? How you set up the cameras and... Ooh. Yeah, uh, so if we go over... To, I'm actually using Mirror for multiplayer, which I tried Photon, but it's a bit slow connecting to a server. So I just decided it's just... What the heck? Let's just do normal LAN. But yeah, Time it, is money. As far as I know, yeah, it only works online, unfortunately. Okay, cool. So but what else can you show us? Is that it? One day. I think that's about it. Okay, great. So what's yeah. uh, what's coming up next? What's on the next part of this? Next week sometime. Um, what? Yeah. Um, LAN. I guess shooting. Shooting and LAN. And improving LAN. multiplayer, yes. Multiplayer. Making it work. Okay, great. Which are, it already has some sort of joining players, something. Yeah, but we won't It's so broken, that. I haven't looked oh, up anything. Yeah, okay, good. Players can control other players, it's just, ah. Okay, cool. So is that it then? Yeah, I think that's about okay, it. Okay, great. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay, our video's in. Cheers. Yes. Bye. Tot sense. My hands can cut off. Oh, bits. awesome, we oh. got one. Oh, yeah. We got another one, awesome. Okay, great. Yeah. No, yeah, doesn't work. Does that one do it? No. Yes! Oh! We got it! I didn't know that. Okay, awesome. Okay. Cheers! Bye.